Honored to welcome to the stage right now a sheriff that understands the idea that the sheriff is in fact the highest law enforcement official in the land, bar none. You know that too, don't you? Yes. Federal officials, well, you got your sheriff to deal with. He's in charge. The fine sheriff from Rockingham County, please welcome Sheriff Sam Page. Go, Sheriff Sam! Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sheriff Sam Page from Rockingham County, and I am glad to be here. And Bill, thank you for the uh, for the invite. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time that I've, I've been up in this area. I just want to tell you, it's a, it's a beautiful area, a beautiful area. And you know, we live in the greatest country in the world, don't we? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, and we don't see enough of these right here. I always carry my flag with me because I never know when I might be in a place that might not have a flag. But i got to tell you something I saw the other day. I uh, read a little story here. In California, you were in California, there was a community college where on Constitution Day, a guy was handing out these little tracts. I keep one with me, a tract about the U.S. Constitution, and he told him he couldn't hand them out. On Constitution Day. What's wrong with that picture? Guys, key word, California. But you know what? If we don't stand up and protect our Constitution, California can move to North Carolina, and we can't have that. Amen. I just want to give you a few little comments. I've got about six minutes, so I'm going to run through this real quick. I'm going to talk a little bit about border security, illegal immigration, drug trafficking, and what sheriffs are doing in Congress at the state level and at the local level. But just remember, your sheriffs are that closest contact. I also got a couple of my county commissioners somewhere in that bank up there to my county commissioner, Rockingham County. Thank you for being here. Let's give them a hand. Here's some observations oh, yeah. this year between here, Raleigh, and, and uh, up in Washington. In America, it's sad to say that our elected officials, and you've heard this today already, they don't listen to the American people. A representative is supposed to do what? Represent. The U.S. government here is of, for, and by the people, and we need to continue to remind that. But if they don't hear from you, they'll forget. There's a big disconnect when you cross over the river up there in, in Washington. But every day we as sheriffs go out, we remember something. It's called our oath. We have an oath to uphold the U.S. Constitution, North Carolina Constitution, and to protect and defend all of our people, all of our citizens, against all threats, foreign and domestic. Am I being too loud? No. Well, let me say it again. Against all threats, foreign and domestic. I, I, I heard another article the other day about a guy uh, that tied in with uh, Homeland Security saying, we don't have to worry about Al-Shabaab terrorist group in uh, Kenya, uh, Somalia. We don't have to worry about those guys. They don't have the reach to the United States. Guys, three of them are from Minnesota. Yeah. Right. Are they paying attention to their information and their briefings? I'm, I'm concerned. It appears that American citizens, that our American citizens are being considered second to everybody else, to every other country. We need to be first. American citizens need to be first in America. And the representatives need to hear that. How do we hold our elected officials feet to the fire? How do we do that? You need to stay informed. Pay attention. Voice your opinions. Get on those phones, those computers, and let them know. Remember, the power of what? The vote. Everybody is running for office next year. They're going to be listening with the power of the vote. So you remember, next year, November, pay attention to what's going on now and let them know, let that ring out across the country. Everyone here needs to get out and vote. All right, border sheriffs, let me, let me tell you this. If we don't secure our U.S. borders, our international borders, north, south, and all the ports of entry, guys and girls, we're going to be all border sheriffs in America. All of us sheriffs in America will be all border sheriffs. All 3,080 of us. For the past three years, for the past three years, ladies and gentlemen, the North Carolina sheriffs have been working together with sheriffs across the country on the immigration, border security, and project and dealing with drug trafficking concerns. Do you know in North Carolina, in three days, our open borders, in three days, those problems are in North Carolina. We are number two in drug trafficking routes by the Mexican cartel, North Carolina, next to Atlanta. We're number two. Three days, it's here. We've arrested 12 associates of the Mexican drug cartel, criminals trafficking drugs in our, in our county, Rockingham County, next door, 
in the past two years. Drugs, lots of drugs, weapons, AR-15 weapons that can be used on you and my deputies. I'm concerned. Me too. Congress needs to be concerned. Through con congressional work, the National Sheriff's Association, we've stood up. We have a position statement. On, have you heard of the Gang of Eight Bill? The Gang of Eight Bill? We oppose that. There are sheriffs from across North Carolina. 80% of the sheriffs, 80 sheriffs in North Carolina, Democrat, Republican, we said, we oppose it. You had two senators vote. One didn't support us, opposed us. 80% of the sheriffs on a, on a bill that deals with public safety, and that senator opposed public safety. Who? Kay Hagan. <laughs> I, I was going to let you guess. Kick her to the curb. In August, there are some sheriffs in Speaker Boehner's district. Speaker Boehner's district. There are five sheriffs. I said, guys, we've got to come together. We've got to go to the speaker, and we've got to tell him where we feel on the border security, immigration issues, drug trafficking, human trafficking, all these issues protecting this country. In August, twice I've been to Ohio. The sheriffs are united in Speaker Boehner's district to remind Speaker Boehner to oppose Senate Bill 744, to stand firm and stand united to support bills that will help protect this country and our citizens. And I repeat, it didn't happen because we sat here, we got up and we did something. There are 3,080 sheriffs across America and I challenge each and every one of them today. My goal is 1,000 sheriffs to support each other, to oppose the Senate bill, stand with the House on putting good legislation out to better protect this country. I'll tell you just a little bit real quick. The North Carolina, I gotta, I've got to go guys, got to go real quick. In North Carolina and across the country, the sheriffs, uh, we have our position statement. We support secure borders, enforcement of current laws, immigration laws, mandatory E-Verify, and no to amnesty. And last thing I'm going to say, gun control, the UN Arms Trade Treaty, get involved, oppose it, call your senators, Second Amendment infringements. What's, what's the question with the Second Amendment? Ain't none. There is none. That's right. Ain't we no shall way. not infringe upon their right to keep and bear arms. I'm Sheriff Page. God bless you. God bless America. And thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Rockingham County does it right. The Honorable Sheriff Sam Page. Yeah. God bless you. We need more like you. Yeah, we're delighted to see the crowd showing up today. I want to remind you, if you're hungry, food and beverages available over to your left of the uh, stage area. Take advantage of that opportunity. A lot of folks have worked hard to do that, including our very own Susan McBride, and she's a hard-working patriot woman. Thank you, Susan.